Yes boys, what is going on and welcome everybody back to another player objectives. Guys, so today we've got Marco Asensio, I believe it's pronounced, and he is another La Liga League player. So thank you EA for releasing this because we have been lacking this. Um, boys, honestly, they did not re release icon packs. There's a new player days promo, there's like two for one packs, which I opened two 50k packs with coins. So obviously I got four in return, another two uh, free ones. I got Cruz, uh, Loris, some 80 freeze and an inform. So I probably made back 100k. So there's also some half price mega packs in the store. If you guys want to open them, there's like team of a group, so it's team of a group stage, Messi, uh, what if Sancho, some big boys in the packs. If you guys do want to go for that, lots of upgrade packs too. And I was half expecting icon packs, sadly not, which does lead me into the next point. These league player cards are absolutely fantastic. Even if you don't use them, you've got an 88 rated card to use as fodder, which is honestly absolutely perfect. And when there is icon packs, I'll make a video on how I craft icon packs because if you guys know me, I full send like when I compacts are out one to two every single, I mean, couple days to be honest. So this is a big part. Like even if you do not use this card, you've got an 88 rated card, which on the market would be like 70,000, 60,000 coins knocked off of an icon pack. So boys starting off, win 15 matches using only La Liga players in the starting 11, all in managerial masterpiece, score 30 goals with La Liga players, assist 20 goals with La Liga players, score an outside of a box goal, using the Liga players in four separate matches and score a finesse goal in using the Liga players in six separate matches. So for a finesse goal, it is simply just right bumper and shoot and it's just in six separate matches, which you'll easily get that. For an outside of a box goal, usually you will, when you play, is it, you have to win 15. So when you play all of them, your opponent, you will start to realize lots of your opponents just score a goal and they jam the controller. Actually, no, no, actually, no, they have to win. So actually each game, they will be sweating. So what you want to do is if you do not mind sacrificing a win, message your opponent, you can pause it, uh, obviously check his name and then message him and just say, I'll let you win. Um, just maybe let him score five goals first. So he has your trust and just see if he can get you, to, if he allows you to get an outside of a box goal obviously you're going to be sacrificing the win but the scoring outside of a box goal in four separate matches is 100% going to be the hardest objective so you just want to message your opponent and see if he'll give you a hand in that area now boys let's hop over to the managerial masterpiece game mode and um i'll build a little squad if you guys don't know we obviously go over objectives and then head over to the squad builder so one heads up before obviously managerial masterpiece they have recently upped it from 77 rating to 79 rating so it's now team overall rating at most 70 29 you can have no bronze players and at most three silver players let's get into the squad builder boys so boys we have gone ahead and built a very cheap meta uh, La Liga squad that you can get and honestly it is under 79 rated this is probably one of the best squads that you can actually use because first of all you have got Anaki Williams we all know how OP he is six foot one high medium he's got the skill moves weak foot's not great but he's got okay agility poor balance he is absolutely rapid just a definition of a nice cheap meta card now at right striker we have gone for Musa Dem Ballet six foot high medium solid agility once again the balance isn't great but he is a very nice card correct go as well boys i cannot vouch for this card enough four star four star 91 pace solid shooting dribbling of 90 agility is absolutely phenomenal and once again he is very cheap now in the midfield we have got terrera who's five six he's got 90 balance 85 agility i would love for a terrera special card at some point because he's got like the perfect body build he'll be like very similar to kante in a way without a doubt boys like a thousand coins and you've got a nice cheeky terrera, terrera i believe it is and we have got herrera who once again I mean it's rhyming but it's six foot one and I believe he had a road to the final earlier on and I absolutely love that card six one high high work rates four star week for solid agility solid balance considering he is six foot one and a very very well rounded card at right mid we have gone for Kubo we needed a lower rated option to uh, be okay with the rating obviously you have to keep it under 79 rating so we have gone with Kubo four star four star at right back as well, boys, you've got maximum free silvers. So I've gone for Luis Perez, five foot eight, solid agility, solid balance, and he is the fastest silver right back in the La Liga. So he's just a no-brainer. Center backs, we have gone for Ida Militao, who is OP, and we have gone for Deshine, I believe is how it's pronounced, who is also OP. Full star weak foot as well. Very solid pace for an 82 rated center back. And in there, you can have anyone under 82 rating. I know there is a lot of options. I'm just going with Ruli because I already had him in my club. Now, left back is another five foot six, not as much pace, but five foot six, 90 balance and 81 agility. Obviously, his pace isn't 
great, so you'd probably want to chuck a shadow on him. Now, that's the first tip, is obviously the squad builder. It will come in at around 15,000 coins. Obviously, I'd probably, I'd pay it because it will it'll make it so much easier. It'll probably knock off like an hour of your time. If you are to use players that you may have in your clubs, whether that's just gold common La Liga players who are very slow, just not mature at all, it will take a lot longer. So for me, it's definitely worth the investment. Yes, you'll probably lose a few K on tax when you decide to uh, sell it all away again when you are done with the objectives, but it's 100% worth it for an 88 rated Asensio. Now, the first tip obviously is his team. Now, the second tip is going to be the bench. You're obviously, you're going to have some cards in your club. Make sure the bench is full of 75 rated cards. And as you can see, we're still at 79 rating. Uh, we've actually only used two silvers, so if we wanted, we could use a silver on the bench as well. So we're going to do that. We're going to use a silver. You just go low to high, search your club for a silver, chuck them on the bench. We've got a 65 rated silver, and this will bump the rating down to 78. So obviously, we've got the two silvers in our squad. We've got one on our bench, meaning we have used our three max silvers. Make sure the rest of the bench is at least, or sorry, at most 75 rating. So the lowest rated gold commons you have in your club. And then, as you can see, the second tip, and probably the biggest of them all, once we have been so good with the rating, once we've narrowed it down on the bench, you can have a super sub. Is Bruno? Yes, we can have Team of Year Bruno as a super sub. And as you can see, the rating is still 79. So we can bring on Bruno uh, like I said all you need is an outside of the box goal and finesse goals with your La Liga players and then you can obviously it's just in the starting squad so you can bring Bruno on in the fifth minute if you want like the first minute chuck a pause bring him on for either Torreira you could play him at Schreiker if you want to and it will be just a massive cheat code obviously not all of you guys will have Bruno but just for example you'll have Neymar's and Barpes just have a very nice super sub that you can bring on now the third and final tip is going to be chemistry styles chemistry styles significantly boost them in game for for example, Inaki Williams, you'd probably want to chuck a finisher on him. A finisher would put him up to 90 finishing. It would get his balance a plus 5, uh, his agility a plus 10, and it really does make him feel better in game. For example, Inaki Williams with a finisher, I'm actually going to load up Footbin here, boys. And if you guys don't know the app Footbin, you can apply chemistry styles to them, and you can see what rating it makes them in game. So if I go Inaki Williams, um, we're obviously going to have a look at just his normal 81 rated card. We're going to go down to the chemistry style and we're going to chuck a finisher on him. Where's the finisher? We're going to chuck a finisher on him and it puts him up to an 86 rated striker in game. Because obviously a marksman puts him to an 86, a dead eye keeps him at an 86, a basic is an 83. But I feel like a finisher is the best because you get that dribbling boost. So without a doubt he goes to an 86 rated striker with a finisher. As for Dembele, you're probably looking for a, he's got some solid shooting already, but you're probably looking for a hunter on Dembele, you know, just make his pace that much more extreme. Yes, hunters are roughly one 1,000 coins on the market, so it's if you are willing to spend that or not. So what is Musa Dembele with a hunter chemistry style applied? He goes to an 85 rated striker with 91 pace and 86 shooting. So it's a no-brainer. You guys get the gist. With your CDMs, you'd probably want to go for an engine, especially on Herrera, chuck an engine on him. And obviously, if you do not want to go out and buy some chemistry styles, you should have some chemistry styles that you have lying around in the club, even if it's not the ideal chem style. No, uh, a random chem style is better than no chem style, you know, it does make me feel a lot better in game. So boys, hopefully this did help you out, um, and like I said, if you guys got any questions, leave them down below, I'll do my best to get back to them. It's been your boy Davis, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and until next time guys, I'll see you all later. Peace out lads.